What if you could power your entire home without fuel, without wires, and without ever paying another electricity bill? It sounds like science fiction, right? But one American inventor believed it was possible. His name was Howard Johnson, and he claimed to have discovered something so powerful, so disruptive, that the world wasn't ready to believe it. Using only magnets, he built machines that could spin endlessly, generating clean, free energy. But then, something strange happened. His work vanished from the spotlight. Today, we uncover his story and the mysterious device that could have changed everything. The man behind the magnet. Who was Howard Johnson? Howard Johnson wasn't your average inventor. Born in the United States in 1919, he was an engineer who became obsessed with one thing, magnetism. While others studied motors and machines powered by electricity, Johnson fixated on the invisible force that made magnets work. He believed magnetism held a secret no one had fully unlocked. From a young age, he questioned what others took for granted. Why do magnets pull and push without touching? Could this force be harnessed to create endless motion? To most scientists, the idea of using magnets alone to generate power was impossible. But to Johnson, it was a challenge waiting to be solved. He spent years in laboratories and workshops, experimenting with materials and magnetic configurations. He wasn't driven by fame or fortune. He wanted to create something that could free people from the growing grip of the power industry. Despite limited resources, he developed a deep understanding of magnetic fields eventually designing systems that seemed to defy conventional physics. His theories were radical, his machines unusual. Yet those who saw them in action couldn't ignore what they witnessed. Howard Johnson was chasing more than an idea. He was chasing freedom through magnetic energy, breaking the rules. The birth of free energy. Howard Johnson didn't believe in limits. While the world relied on fossil fuels and the grid, he looked elsewhere into the invisible force fields all around us. He believed magnets weren't just static objects stuck to refrigerators. They were engines waiting to be unlocked. Mainstream science insisted that magnets alone couldn't do work. They could attract or repel, sure, but they couldn't produce continuous motion, let alone electricity. Johnson thought differently. He believed that if magnetism was caused by the motion of electrons, then that motion could be guided, controlled, and turned into power. He spent years building strange-looking prototypes, machines with spinning wheels and carefully placed magnets. These weren't your average motors. They didn't use fuel, they didn't have batteries. Yet, under the right conditions, they spun and didn't stop. Johnson theorized that by arranging permanent magnets in a precise pattern, you could create a flow of magnetic force strong enough to keep a rotor in motion. That motion could then drive a generator, producing electricity. His early results were small but promising. The machines showed signs of self-sustained movement. And unlike traditional motors, they didn't overheat or wear down easily. It was the beginning of something radical, a future where energy wasn't bought but built, where the grid was optional, not essential. In Howard Johnson's workshop, the rules of energy were starting to bend. Magnetic Rotor Generator The first of Johnson's breakthrough inventions was called the Magnetic Rotor Generator. At first glance, it looked like a spinning wheel surrounded by magnets. But this machine wasn't powered by gas, electricity, or even wind. It was moved by the force of magnets alone. Johnson designed the rotor with permanent magnets placed in a very specific pattern around a central axis. As the rotor turned, the magnets pushed and pulled against each other in a delicate balance, creating continuous motion without any external energy input. This spinning force was then converted into usable electricity. Estimates suggest the device could generate 5 to 10 kilowatts of continuous power, enough to run a typical household. The beauty of this system was its simplicity. No fuel, no pollution, no wires to the grid, just a carefully balanced magnetic dance. To skeptics, it was impossible. To Johnson, it was proof that energy didn't have to be bought. It could be freed. Permanent Magnet Motor Building On the success of his magnetic rotor, 
Howard Johnson unveiled a second, more powerful invention, the permanent magnet motor. This wasn't just a spinning wheel, it was a fully functional motor that ran without fuel, wires, or any external power source. The design was elegant. Powerful magnets were placed around a central shaft, each angled and spaced with mathematical precision. As the shaft rotated, the magnetic fields interacted in a way that sustained the motion without slowing down. This wasn't a theory. Johnson built working models, and they didn't stop spinning. Estimates suggest the motor could produce up to 20 kilowatts of continuous power, enough not just for a home, but even a small business or farm. Unlike solar or wind, it didn't depend on weather or daylight. Once started, it kept going. This motor challenged everything people knew about energy. And for Johnson, it was another step toward total independence from the grid. Magnetic Force Generator Howard Johnson's final and most ambitious invention was the Magnetic Force Generator, a machine so powerful it could have changed the way we power entire communities. This wasn't just an upgrade. It was the culmination of everything he'd learned about magnetism, motion, and energy. The magnetic force generator used a highly complex arrangement of permanent magnets placed with extreme precision. These magnets weren't just reacting, they were orchestrated. Layers of magnetic force interacted in a controlled loop, creating sustained motion that, when connected to a generator, produced massive output. Unlike his earlier models, this device scaled the concept. According to some estimates, it was capable of generating up to 50 to 110 kilowatts of continuous power. That's enough to power multiple homes or even an entire neighborhood. Johnson believed this was the future of energy, clean, silent, unlimited. But the moment this device started gaining attention, resistance followed. His work was dismissed as pseudoscience. His designs were overlooked by mainstream institutions, yet those who witnessed the machine couldn't explain what they saw. It spun. It powered. It worked. Howard Johnson had created a new kind of generator, but bringing it to the world would prove to be his greatest challenge yet. The battle against suppression. Power versus progress. As Howard Johnson's inventions gained attention, so did the pushback. His machines promised free energy, power without fuel, without a bill, and without a meter. But that kind of freedom threatened a trillion-dollar industry. And those in control weren't ready to lose it. Johnson tried to patent his designs. He faced endless delays, legal hurdles, and unexplained rejections. Applications would disappear. Review boards changed their conclusions without warning. Each time he came close to recognition, something or someone pushed it out of reach. Investors were warned off, collaborators backed away, and Johnson began receiving threats. Not from crackpots, but from people who seemed to know exactly what he was working on. Corporate powers had a lot to lose. Free energy meant no more dependence on oil, coal, or the centralized grid. It meant anyone could generate their power anywhere in the world. That terrified the system. He was accused of fraud, labeled a madman, his achievements were buried under layers of skepticism and ridicule. But many believed the resistance wasn't scientific. It was strategic. They didn't need to prove him wrong. They just needed to make sure no one listened. Despite all this, Johnson never gave up. He kept building, testing, and documenting his work. But the constant resistance took its toll. His funding dried up. His health declined. Eventually, the spotlight faded and Johnson's revolutionary machines were left gathering dust in a world that wasn't ready or willing to change. But the story doesn't end there, because long after he was silenced, his ideas started to rise again. Legacy, revival, and the modern free energy movement. Though Howard Johnson passed away in 2006, his vision lives on. His patents, notes, and blueprints continue to inspire a new wave of inventors and engineers determined to explore the possibilities of free energy. Across online forums and garage workshops, modern pioneers are revisiting Johnson's designs with fresh eyes and new tools. Using 3D printing, open source tech, and simulation software, they're testing magnetic motors once dismissed by mainstream science. 
Some report intriguing results, devices that spin longer than expected, or systems that appear to overcome conventional resistance. While skepticism remains, so does growing curiosity. In an age of rising energy costs, blackouts, and environmental pressure, Johnson's dream feels more urgent than ever. His machines might not power our homes yet, but his core belief that clean, decentralized energy is possible is gaining ground. Now, creators, engineers, and startups around the world are asking the same question he once did. Can magnets power the future? Howard Johnson believed energy should be free, free from wires, fuel, and control. His dream wasn't just about machines, it was about liberation. Though his inventions never reached the masses, his legacy lives on in every mind daring to think differently. In a world desperate for cleaner, cheaper power, his vision still matters. So ask yourself, what if he was right? What if the future of energy isn't waiting to be discovered, but rediscovered? Share his story. Question the limits. Because the next breakthrough may not come from a lab, but from someone brave enough to believe, like Johnson once did.